Hello everyone, my name is Jafar Isaili, a current second year student, and today I will be reviewing the mechanism of action of statin medications. Statins are also known as HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors because they serve to inhibit an enzyme known as HMGA-CoA reductase. HMG-CoA reductase is an enzyme that is involved in the mevalonate pathway, which is ultimately responsible for the synthesis of cholesterol. As seen here, the mevalonate pathway begins with acetyl-CoA, which through a series of reactions becomes converted to hydroxymethylgutyryl-CoA or HMG-CoA. Then, through HMG-CoA reductase, HMG-CoA becomes reduced to mevalonate, which leads to a series of reactions that is ultimately responsible for the production of cholesterol. Statins, also known as HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors, function by inhibiting the binding of HMG-CoA to HMG-CoA reductase, therefore inhibiting the production of mevalonate and ultimately cholesterol. Specifically, statin medications have functional groups that mimic the functional groups present in HMG-CoA, and therefore, this facilitates the binding of statins to HMG-CoA reductase enzymes. As shown here, both HMG-CoA and lovastatin share a hydroxyl group and a carboxylic group. In addition, as shown here, Statins consistently have large hydrophobic regions, and these regions interact with the same areas as HMG-CoA on the HMG-CoA reductase enzyme. It is also important to mention that there are two types of statins, which includes both type 1 statins, such as lovastatin, simvastatin, pravastatin, and type 2 statins, such as fluvastatin, atorvastatin, rosuvastatin, and pitavastatin. Type 1 statins are natural or semi-synthetic, and type 2 statins are synthetic. These type 1 and type 2 statins have distinct functional groups that interact specially with the HMG-CoA reductase enzymes. For example, these type 2 statins consistently have a fluorine aromatic ring that have hydrophobic interactions with the leucine of the HMG-CoA reductase enzymes. I hope this video was helpful in explaining more about the mechanisms of statins in our bodies, and thank you for listening.